Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson on soundproofing today. We're gonna talk about how to soundproof a beam or really any odd shape that you need to get around that is not your traditional wall or ceiling. I've had students reach out to me and say, hey, your ceiling is not soundproof because the drywall is touching your beam, thus short-circuiting the whole system. What they don't realize is that is actually a false beam using the same method as I did roughly on my ceilings. And I'm gonna go in depth about how we actually soundproofed our beam. If you're doing a similar thing in your own studio, this will be super helpful. Before we jump in, I wanna let you know I have a free resource for you. This is my free soundproofing workshop. It is 40 minutes of in-depth teaching, teaching you all about how to build a soundproof studio. So if you're ready to take that next step and create your own soundproof studio, then definitely check that out at soundproofyourstudio.com. All right, let's jump into the lesson. All right, first let's start with a general overview of how to create a soundproof beam. So to begin with, we're using the same concepts as we've used in other situations. We're still gonna use two layers, in this case not drywall, but we're gonna use two layers of plywood with green glue in the middle, and we're gonna wrap it around the existing beam. The one key difference is that we're gonna decouple the existing beam from our faux beam using IB3 clips. Now, some of you may have watched my other videos and noticed that the IB3 clips were used in the studio to attach our inside wall to the wood rafters so that the inside wall was still structurally sound and structurally attached to the outside structure, but was not transferring sound using these special acoustic clips. So these clips come in handy for situations like this. As you can see in this video here, we attached the IB3 clips to the existing beam, and then we used a long piece of wood to attach the IB3 clips to the center beam. So you can see that we cut out a little bit so that the IB3 clips could actually attach, and then we would attach our side and our bottom panels to make this faux beam look good. So once we got that main beam up there, uh, we put some spacers in. However, I would recommend that before you put the beam up, you attach a spacer, and this can have a little quarter inch gap between the top of it and the wood beam. You can see in this video that I'm explaining about this. Um, we made the mistake, it's really hard to put those spacers in um, once the beam was already installed. Those spacers are there to actually shoot in the sidewall and actually attach it to something solid on your beam. So these are just small details that are important if you're trying to do this as well. So we went ahead and measured our sidewalls. One key thing that you wanna do is make sure that you scribe the wood so that it will fit into your ceiling, which is probably not perfectly straight and you wanna get the snuggest fit you can. So you can see here, Henry is scribing the wood and is getting it so that when we cut it at a 30 degree angle and get it right up against our drywall, it's gonna fit snug. And we did that for both layers, so the inside layer and the outside layer. Remember, we have two layers with green glue in the middle. So once we have that first layer in, we're gonna cut our second layer for both the sides and the bottom. And we're gonna put green glue along that just like you did on the drywall. And you're just going to then place that last layer up, screw it in or nail it in with the green glue in the middle. Finally, to finish off this beam, I've just simply stained it with some nice wood stain. And as you can see here in this finished product, it looks amazing to the untrained eye. This certainly looks like a structural beam, but in fact, as you saw earlier in the videos, the actual beam is much smaller and is actually just two pieces of wood screwed together. And that's what's actually holding up the studio. This beam is 100% for soundproofing and for looks and doesn't have any structural purpose whatsoever. So this was a nice little quick video showing you that soundproofing uh, sometimes takes on some different forms than just the traditional wall, ceiling, and floor. And sometimes you gotta kind of innovate, but still keep the same principles in line, which is decoupling using those IB3 clips and creating mass and dampening using the green glue and the two layers of three quarter inch plywood that we wrapped around the beam. If you have enjoyed this short but sweet lesson, then definitely check out that free soundproofing workshop. It is an in-depth teaching, 40 minutes in length. You can go to soundproofyourstudio.com right now and start watching it right away and start learning all about how to build your own soundproof home studio. 
Until next time, thanks so much for watching on YouTube or if you're listening on our podcast, thank you so much. Leave a review on the podcast if you feel like it. It's very helpful. And I will see you all next Monday. Thank you.